So this was practice for my third BFL as a boater. Uh, this was on the Potomac in late June. Went out the day before, wanted to locate some fish. Didn't really want to catch a lot of them, but just wanted to make sure that there were some in the area. Tried a few different things, and uh, the best ones, actually the only ones I found were out on some grass flats, which is kind of annoying because you're out there with a bunch of other boats, but uh, oftentimes that's where they are on the Potomac. I had thrown a chatterbait and a spinnerbait and uh, some crankbaits around. It was uh, hard to throw a lot of stuff because they were the grass was was somewhat sparse, but uh, there was a lot of loose eel grass, so it tended to get tangled up in the in the spinnerbaits really badly. So at this point, I was throwing a Cinco on it, a core tackle Ozark rig with a uh, small spinner blade on the back of it, and uh, hooked up for just a second, but it came off. Unfortunately, you can't catch them all. I'm still in the same area, still throwing the same bait. You can see a boat over there to my left, uh, pretty close to me. And uh, as I hook up on a fish here, I try to keep it relatively subtle so I don't have people swarming in on me and, and uh, trying to figure out what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. Still in the same area here, but I switched over to a drop shot just to try a different bait and see if I could get uh, something a little different. I had moved out into slightly deeper water and there was a little bit less uh, vegetation here. Uh, again, trying to keep it relatively subtle because there's a couple of boats around me and I don't really want them swarming in on me. Tournament morning was a beautiful sunrise. The conditions were pretty much the same as they had been the day before. Uh, light breeze, a little bit of chop out on the main river. Checked in with my co-angler and uh, we headed out. So remember you said that the next time we We initially fished some hard cover uh, for about an hour and a half, well, I guess about two and a half hours. and. Didn't get much in the way of bites. McCullinger claimed he got a couple of bites, uh, but we didn't get anything at all in the boat, and I don't think I got any bites at all up there. So we moved uh, back down uh, to a, a different grass flat than I had fished the morning before. Uh, there were a few less boats out here, but uh, you can see that we just pulled up to the spot and uh, throw in a chatterbait at this point, and it doesn't take very long for us to hook up. swimming right at me. I barely even felt him. Look how deep he got it though. It's good to get one in the boat regardless. Yeah, that's why I look at it. Nobody tells me otherwise. Though. 
What's that? There's a lot of people say otherwise, but I agree with you. I'm not how it should ever be a bad thing to have the first fish in the boat, but uh, regardless, it, my co-angler hooked up pretty quickly thereafter with his first fish of the day. You might be wrong. Yeah, I don't know how big he is. He ain't coming up yet, but I'm afraid because he feels kind of heavy. He's down there too. Look at him. He ain't coming up though. Is it? Yeah. Looks like it. Where is it? It's in the grass. Keep pulling. It's a bass. Definitely a bass. Oh, he's fighting. It's a good bass. It's a really good one. Oh, please. Where is he? Pull it up. Pull it up. Pull it up. I'm not really sure why, but my co-angler kept letting the, the fish dive deep, trying to, I mean, it was getting in the grass and getting tangled up, and he was kind of afraid to, to pull it up. I guess he didn't want it to jump, but that's kind of the way things went. Uh, but he did get it in the boat. It was a three-pounder. Unfortunately, it was the only one he got during the day. But uh, you can see the camera keeps rolling here, and again, it doesn't take me long to hook up with, a, with another fish. That was the last fish we caught on that spot, so we had to, to move to a different grass flat uh, when I had uh, practiced on a little bit, and uh, we did, did manage to get a couple of fish off of it. So at this point it was approaching 100 degrees even though it was only about 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, my camera started cutting out on me after this, so this is the last of the footage I got. We did uh, catch a few more. I, I filled out my limit and caught uh, one extra fish that was small that didn't help me any. Uh, during the day I did hook up on one fish and lose it. I never saw it. Uh, if it were a bass, it probably would have helped me, uh, but it could have been a catfish, so it is what it is. Um, regardless, it was a grinding day, uh, but a fun day out there, uh, and we, we did pretty well. So I ended the day with a, a limit of 13 pounds and 8 ounces. This is two of the better bass that came out of the, the, lake, the river for me that day. Uh, ended up in... Uh, 42nd place for the day, uh, 49th overall for the standings. Unfortunately, I've got some other stuff going on, so this is probably going to be my last BFL for the year, uh, but I look forward to doing them again next year, and uh, there will be some other tournaments mixed in there. So hope you enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe.